46? Yep. With a three iron. <laughs> Wait, that's oh. 21, not 18. Yeah. Oh. Some wedge, wedge stuff over okay. there, and I'll do it with some pop balls. But I was interested in this one because this is kind of like that mid, mid launch. Okay, normal carry on this one 260. Yep, how did you bleed it like that? This, I mean, the, this fairway and the driver today are effectively going to be kind of like just an in-between club because we'll have the in. Okay. When's your, when's your first um, kind of events? What, what's your time uh, frame? Few scores late January, February. Or, or yeah. February. Okay. Six eight carry then. Yep. That one was five. Good. That went a long way. Two seven one. Two seven. Six, three. We're about three miles faster ball speed okay. from fairway to fairway. Yeah. Some, and that's kind of on average. You kind of you get a few more that kind of get juiced up a little bit more as well. Right. Shot. Yeah, that's one six five ball then. So yeah, that's about about three miles faster. Okay. And it carries two seventy. Yeah. Just gonna write down just a couple of specs for some of the other stuff. So I have another gap between two iron and a three wood then. Well I think your two iron's gonna go further. So remember we haven't we haven't tested two iron yet okay. with one of our with the X Forge utility, which yeah. was this one. Yeah. So that one in the 18 degree will have that little bit of extra distance on it, which is gonna yeah. get close to your three wood. And it'll also have a graphite shaft. So that's where that little bit of extra ball speed is as well. Oh okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if I can put that too, I can go like 55. Right? Oh, yeah. I, I'm confident you will, without question. Good shot. Oh, let's see this driver. The same thing, just want to see that little bleeder. Yeah. yeah. Does that tend to be the mishit with driver or is that uh, an anomaly? Um, I tend to have more like a, just a pull street ball. Uh -huh. Yep. Which I don't mind. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. 289 carry, 312 total. Right. 
spins like 25. Yeah, that was that was 10 at 25, which are really good numbers. Two ninety, three fourteen, 314 then, 10 and a half at 24 and a half. Oh, it's launching at 10 and a half? That one then, yeah. Is that high for you? Or? I feel like it's lower than okay. usual for me. Yeah. But I mean, 10 and a half is good, isn't it? 10 and a half is Launch. great. No, that's, I mean, for your numbers there, your parameters, that's good. Yeah. 199. <laughs> heavy head. It's a heavy head, dude. Generally, um, swing weight will be high, but you may have done that. Is, is the shaft a little bit shorter? I'm not sure, I'll, I'll have to just I'll measure it. No. no. It was telling me that Shafley just... The thing with Zandik is like... Yeah. I think that was high on the face. Mm -hmm. Yep, launch, yeah, launch and spin were high and low, yeah. Three ninety-five, three twenty-one. Yeah, you were at like 285 average uh, at 306 total with the Nike. Okay. Yeah. That one was nice. 290 carry, 317 then. They're pretty good numbers, Luke. Yeah. That's pretty so that's a 10 at 2300. So we've got we've got about about two miles more ball speed um, and, more ball. and just a little more rollout. Pretty close to optimal. Uh, I'm gonna just tinker with something in a sec. How's that shaft feel? Uh, I don't really know. I can't really feel it there. Okay. That was, that was 295, that 323. This might be my ego talking, but I just feel like guys like Cameron Champ mm -hmm. have their equipment just so dialed in. It's not really their swing that's producing all the speed. It's more so their equipment. What they're doing, and guys like, probably, I mean, I haven't experienced Cameron firsthand, but we have, you know, quite a few guys that are those those bombers. Yeah. And effectively, what they what they have is is just it's kind of just a level of trust of knowing that, well, in their peace of mind, that their equipment's right. Right. The guys that are always searching for answers from equipment, they're the ones that generally kind of have the struggles. Mm. You know, they're always, and sometimes it's warranted and it's merited. There's something not quite right. Right. But a lot of the time. You know, when we when we do the numbers and everything matches up, we kind of just have to be like, right, it's good. You just now right. now need to kind of trust it. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that hit the fence on the full. It had no spin though. <laughs> yeah. It's just scaring me a little bit. The spin's just too low. Okay. So, how did that that shape look? Um. Oh, the trajectory? Yeah. Probably a little bit flatter than normal. Yep. 25 is kind of the sweet spot you want to read right at. 23 is a little too low. You can be a little lower. Like, at your, at your speed, you can you can kind of be at that 22 to, to 23 mark. Any lower than that, I start getting nervous, particularly okay. when you don't want to see leftward misses. Oh, okay. Um, whereas, like, you know, we can have optimal spin, but we, and then we've also got functional spin. Functional is for me a little higher than what I call optimal, so that when you do have a little bit of a miss, mm. it stays in the air, mm. it doesn't get in any trouble. Okay. Yeah. Whereas I actually loved the flight of that last one, but it just scared me how low the spin was coming out. Okay. Right. Right. I love that. No, that's not going significantly short. Mm -hmm. Square face, isn't it? Yeah. Does it look pretty square in terms of its lie angle as well? It looks a little shut. Okay. Kind of compared to what I'm used to. Sure. It might just be the, like the face shape, I think. Sure. Maybe. The progression of it. Yeah. Dang. So my driver numbers are about as good as it's gonna get. Right now, what's your normal driver swing speed? Uh, I think last time I tried it was. 17. Okay. So you're down a little bit on speed then. You're at around sort of 114 or so. Okay. Which is alright. Um, I do have a couple of heads you can test. And this is what we, we will get gains out of it. Okay. I'm, we, when we, I did World Cup and uh, a few of the other European players um, and we gained 
four and a half miles on it. Um, yep. And gain four, no, he gained five. And gain five. Yeah. Enticing. Very. <laughs> we might need to go further back. Those houses could be in danger. 180 ball. Yeah. 181. Hit the fence. Hit the fence. It was 181.5 ball. Jesus. I've never done that. No. A few, few people have. 